been stripped of time for all the geniuses of history to focus on this single theme. They could never fully express their bafflement at the darkness of the human mind. No person would give up even an inch of their estate, and the slightest dispute with a neighbor can mean hell to pay, yet we easily let others encroach on our lives worse. We often pave the way for those who will take it over. No person hands out their money to passers-by, but to how many do each of us hand out our lives? Exclamation point weary tight fisted with property and money, yet think too little of wasting time, the one pill about which we should all be the toughest misers. Today there will be endless interruptions, phone calls, emails, visitors, unexpected events. Booker T. Washington observed that the number of people who stand ready to consume one's time, to no purpose, is almost countless. A philosopher, on the other hand, knows that their default state should be one of reflection and inbotherness. This is why they so diligently protect their personal space and thoughts from the intrusions of the world. They know that a few minutes of contemplation are worth more than any meeting to report. They also know how little time we are actually given in life and how quickly our stores can be depleted. Seneca reminds us that while we might be good at protecting our physical property, we are far too Black at enforcing our mental boundaries. Property can be regained, there is quite a bit of it out there some of it still untouched by man. But time. Time is our most irreplaceable asset we cannot buy more of it. We can only strive to waste as little as possible.